आज का जो एटमोसफियर है जो एनवायरमेंट है कहीं कोई फ्रेश एयर नहीं है कोई भी चीज़ हम मार्केट से लेते हैं ये पता नहीं है कि वो कैसा है हेल्थ के लिए ठीक भी है या नहीं है तो उस उसके लिए हम लोग अक्सर बातें किया करते हैं All of us in the cities are eating vegetables, which are originating from areas where industrial effluent water is being used to grow the vegetables. So, what we are basically eating is a little bit of cancer every day. Hi, I'm Tarun. I live in Jaipur, and I'm a hotelier by profession. The part in which my hotel is, these are all dark zones, which means that every year the water table falls much more than what the rain is able to replenish. Flats में open space होता नहीं है, गर्मी इतनी ज़्यादा होती है, उसको cool करने के लिए ACs लगते हैं। आजकल देखिए कि हर flat में चार ACs तो बहुत common सी बात है। Most of our cities are now guzzling electricity. If you add the corporate structures, the corporate offices, they are like giants which are drinking electricity every day. So while we are trying to keep our houses cool, we are burning the planet. At one level you feel this is the lot of people who have to rise against this kind of rampant uh, urbanization. But on the other hand, don't like the slightest disturbance to their rather comfortable life, which they cannot see that the total impact of it will now come on to future generations. It's not just about them. Most of the cities are suffering from direct impact of climate change. We felt that if we could develop a natural green cover on the rooftop, we could save the exposed rooftops from the sun. And while we were working on that problem, we realized that a solution for climate change or a solution for saving the rooftops could also save the health of the people who are living in that building. So we put all these problems and challenges together and Finally, we, we, we created this rooftop organic farming model. We have just come into this, experimenting with this uh, organic farm here. Uh, we are growing some uh, vegetables, some herbs. One of the things that attracted me to this is that it uses a soilless medium and it uses very less water. It has drip irrigation and ache in one bucket full of uh, about that's about 17 liters of water we are able to uh, to water about 45 square feet of or 60 square feet of uh, soil i think it's a very practical decision now to take to protect our resources and more than that to protect our livelihoods and to protect our businesses and to see them reach the next generation or the generation beyond I go to my children with my children and I cut the vegetables with my hands. So the joy of it, the enjoyment of it, it is very difficult to tell. How happy you are to see a child in front of you. You are seeing that your farm is a small farm. You are seeing that your farm is a small farm. It is growing in front of you and it is growing in front of you. And now you are growing in front of your vegetables. अगर आप अपने रूफटॉप पर आप जो कि एक आपके घर का ऐसा कोना है जिसको आप इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं और अगर आप उसको अच्छा इस्तेमाल करें तो आपके लिए आपकी सेहत के लिए आपके परिवार के लिए सबके लिए बहुत अच्छा रहेगा जैसा कि मैं कर रही हूँ। My dream is that every single rooftop that you see here would be a huge lush green organic farm. It isn't a lot that requires to be done to you know to protect what we have or even to go further from that. 
it's it's really very simple nature comes back with a force but we just need to give it a little bit of space and a little bit of time and it will come back somebody said you know what is the reward of a good life it's the good life itself when you're talking about these solutions they have to be inexpensive as well it shouldn't be a torture to go and get it if you want the role of a government is to facilitate this as a regulator who enforces certain things so that technology is developed as a facilitator who provides that knowledge when an individual like uh, you yourself or me we walk in and more important be a role model which is what ice is trying to do.